Hi, it's Mike Verba. In this video, I want to tell you how to unite yourself with your instrument. And if you want to see more videos like that, click the icon below and subscribe to this channel. And now I would tell you how to unite with your instrument. So let's ask this question first. How did I choose my instrument? Well, actually, I didn't choose it. The teachers chose it for me because I was just a child. During the exams to music school, it turned out that I can sing. Anyway, I still can't. <laughs> and this meant for my teachers that I had no talent for music. That is why I went to a percussion instruments class. I played percussion, marimba and vibraphone because in the opinion of the examiners, this instrument did not require high musical skills. At that time, I started to see a strange phenomenon. I was not suited for the instrument. Why? I was not able to hear and express anything from my imagination on my instrument. I had certain imagination or certain visions since I was a child, but it needed a form of expression. And whatever I played on the marimba or vibraphone, it just sounded funny to me. I only liked one type of sound on the vibraphone, actually, uh, when you turn on the pedal and play with a bow. It's called, uh, it's called arco technique. It's very interesting. Um, but nobody inspired me by showing some outstanding marimba recordings. But the good thing is that I got to know a lot of music where the drums play the central role. Uh, great tracks by Steely Dan, Toto, Jimmy Roquai, great drummers, um, Steve Gadd, uh, Derek McKenzie, Vinnie Colaiuta. And that developed my musical taste. But in general, I had no sense of integrity with my instrument and I did not feel that my instrument expresses the emotions and visions that I have within me. Everything changed when I heard the phenomenal Jimmy Roquai track Just Another Story and Toby Smith Fender Rhodes part on the track. Well, let's, let's play it. It's, it goes... Uh... <laughs> And uh, even now, this track evokes the same emotions in me. Willingness to go my own way, disagreement with how other people's decisions influence my life, and an amazing creative energy that blows this recording apart. The text of the piece made also a great impression on me. In particular, the sentence, this is just another story, all your broken glories. I was 17 years old at the time, just like the hero in the song, and I felt that somewhere for me there is this another story, this path in which I am united with my instrument. I express these emotions and visions that I see in my imagination. I decided to follow this vision regardless of the consequences. So I ask myself, will I be able to play the vibraphone like Toby Smith did on Just Another Story? Well, the answer was no. So I said to myself, uh, then I'll be playing piano and keyboards. And then, after I started to study the subject more, I realized that the piano is an instrument with which I can create worlds. And I decided to do so. And you know, I also realized that each instrument has its own superpower. You just need to realize what it is and whether it suits you. And being this world creator, this storyteller on the piano, it really suited me. So I said, let's go for it. How I created a bond with the instrument? There are different ways to do so, but I did it like this. I decided to always make a story on my instrument. I chose fragments from literature or movies that were important to me, that moved somewhere, something in me, and tried to find a color for them on the instrument. I tried to translate feelings, emotions, experiences from other things that fascinated me, for example, books, movies, uh, people, into music. So, for example, I felt connection with a great fantasy book by uh, Patricia and MacKillip, the Riddle Master of Head. In this book, there is a powerful scene in which the protagonist must descend into the mines to find the hidden sword. It's a really powerful metaphor saying that we must descend into the dark to reveal our potential. I felt that this scene resonates in me, so I thought, how would I play it? Underground mines, so maybe something in the low register. But also, well, the hidden potential. I need something that's 
that will not make it that dark. I would need something lighter. I would I would need um just just a hint of 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 light, a hint of um uh, this this potential, you know. So so I so maybe I will choose the, that kind of chord. hear that and uh, just find anything that resonates within you and try to express it on your instrument it may be silly or very simple at the beginning but soon it will create a connection between you and your instrument because you will be expressing your own inner images images that resonate within you on your instrument and that's the first uh, way to uh, create bond between you and your instrument. Unite with your master. You can do it by copying uh, phrases, the articulation or the timbre of someone you like. In this way, you can tune into his or her feelings and take some of that feeling for yourself. It's like meditation. You try to copy someone exactly so that the two voices become one. You do it not to become a copy of your master, but to take his feeling and timbre and make it your own. So, for example, when I was learning how to tell a good story on, the, on my instrument, I asked myself, who is the great storyteller on a jazz piano? And the answer was Kenny Barron. So I tried to play just the way Kenny is playing, not to become his copy, but to capture his feeling. So uh, I took some of his phrases he has a very characteristic phrase, it's just like uh, or, or, uh, and I try to play using just his phrases and phrasing them just the way he plays it. Uh, so I would uh, take some of his great storytelling to to me, for me. So. Uh, I try to play just like him. Just, uh... And uh, and then I could tell my own story on the piano because I knew how it feels to 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 be a good storyteller. And that's how you can unite yourself with your master and uh, take his feeling for yourself and uh, become one with your master, but then you become yourself. The third thing you can do is to create. Just try to come up with something on your instrument every day, anything. Let it be one phrase, the next day, the second phrase, then the third, write songs. With each new day, with each new song, it will be easier and better. This way you can unite your creativity with your instrument. So, uh, it, it's, it can be very simple, you know? I, I, I can take just three notes in the right hand and, uh, well, two notes in my left hand and try to come up with, with just anything. Let's try. It's not supposed to be really complicated, but with each 
try, it will be better. And uh, the story I've told you is my own story. I think that most important is to feel the connection between you and your instrument. In the beginning, it is something you must practice, but with time, it will become natural. So, to summarize, every instrument has its own superpower. Just think what it is and whether it suits you. Then, try to express stories that you like on your instrument. Copy the masters to capture their feelings, but then become yourself. And create every day. Write songs. It will be easier with each next song. I wonder what's your story. Do you feel the connection between you and your instrument? Do you have these bright and magical moments when you feel, even for one second, that you can play your emotions and the way you feel? If you do, I'm sure that you are on the right path. Write down in the comments below what kind of experience do you have. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you next time. Good luck!